Yeah, what's going on everybody? It's our Pocket and Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. I'm checking in from that NBA 2K11. It's the third quarter. Let's get it. It's Michael Jordan versus Kobe Bryant. It's the greatest of all time versus the Black Mamba. <laughs> um, basically, I, I don't want to take up too much of your guys' time, but of course, you know, I got to. This is about a 15 minute video and I need to basically get you guys attention because I have three topics that I want to talk about. Uh, the first topic at hand is how to become a commentator. Um, recently I've been getting a lot of, I mean a lot of messages from you know, a lot of YouTubers saying hey you know, um, I appreciate what you're doing and I want to learn a few things from you and could you help me out? And basically, this is like a small tutorial on how to become a commentator. First off, um, you have to have a YouTube channel. And I just believe that you should have like at least one or two social network websites. So you will be able to share your videos and stuff that you will be making. Um, also, your channel has to consist of, you know, a few, how should I say, a few things that, that tell about you. Like... You can't just have a YouTube channel where the about me box is a whole bunch of nothing and it's blank. And um, also, let's get right into it. The recording um, software that you need and hardware and everything like that. Um, basically, if you do PC games, you can use a software called Camtasia Studio. Um, that's the type of capture software that I use when I want to capture things on my screen. Um, also, if you have consoles as PS3s and Xboxes, you want to have a start off. Some people use EasyCap, some people use Dazzle DVC recorders, some people use HD PVRs, and some people use Blackmagic Intensity Pros. Like the list can go on. But, you know, as a start off, I would say, you know, your cell phone might get the trick. You know, it might. Like me, I ain't even gonna lie to anybody. I started off on my cell phone. If you guys look at my highest viewed video, it's from a cell phone recording of NBA 2K11. Seriously, no lie. So, you know, if you wanna start off with your phone, if you don't have the money or you know the means to get recording software, start off with your phone, you know, get your name out there, get known a little bit. But as you progress, I would say, you know, step your quality up. Because a lot of people that watch NBA 2K11 videos, any type of gameplay, they want to see it in HD. And I'm just, I'm just here to tell you that you know HD is the wave. So basically, another thing that you need is, I would say, OK or so-so commentary. Just have something to talk about. You know, um, don't just get on the game and have the background music playing while you're playing the game. That's not what a commentator is. That's more of you doing more like a walkthrough without saying anything and just, you know, having the game on pause. <laughs> like, you're not really doing nothing for anybody when they come to watch your video. It's like they can play the game and see that, you know, they don't have to come to your YouTube channel, just look at you play the game all day. Um, another thing that you're going to need is a recording mic. Now, when I say recording mic, I don't mean, you know, go out there and buy the the best of the best you can get like a little $15 mic you know with a little bit of noise cancellation so people can hear you over the game and get that type of mic you know it, it'll work for you trust me um, I started out on the cell phone then I got the dazzle um, when I got the dazzle I went to Best Buy I brought like a little $25 mic and it did me justice you know um, shout out to Pi Vision 973 he has my mic that I did have previously and now um, after going through a pair of turtle beaches I now have Tritons so trust me a uh, mic is not that much guys it, it's really not that much shout out to my man Wiser now he got a $35 mic but he sound like a boss <laughs> simple as that um, what else do you need um, you need to be active. You definitely need to be active in this community of YouTubers, gamers alike. You have to be very, very active. Um, people aren't going to, you know, respond to a person that has zero comments reply back to. If somebody comments on their channel, they don't go back and comment back. They don't send messages back to each other. And also, another thing, I know this is going to hurt a lot of people's feelings, but I don't think that people should spam their videos to other users 
because of the simple fact is if you send a message to somebody the first time they get the picture they know that your video is up and they know that you are a commentator and that you are looking for views now what you have to do is you have to share that outside of YouTube, out of YouTube, <laughs> out of YouTube, because when you do that, people on Facebook, people on Twitter, people on blogger pages, you know, in MySpace, they can actually see something that they don't see every day because they're not on YouTube. Simple as that, man. Um, please don't spam people because people people take offense to that, man. That's 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 real rap. A lot of people take offense to spamming. Also. Um, if you're if you're a commentator, you know, up and coming and you you you're not getting any subs and stuff like that, start adding people as friends, you know. Um become more active between users. Don't just, you know, go to somebody else's video that has over a thousand subs even and just say hey man check out my video because you know what you, that's what's gonna happen. A user that doesn't like that, just any old user is gonna mark your comment as spam seriously they're going to market this spam and it's going to be marked this spam the entire comment line like the whole timeline of comments is just going to be marked as spam so you <laughs> you definitely can't be spamming um what else uh other than that just have just have good quality guys um if you want to commentate it's, it's it's definitely a hard thing um the programs i almost forgot about the programs the programs that you're going to need to start off you're gonna need something like Windows Live Movie Maker or uh, Cyberlink Power Director or I would say the best which is Sony Vegas to me I have Sony Vegas Pro 10 um, I commentate through Sony Vegas I do live comms through Power Director and you know I do simple discussions through Sony Vegas so I can do it all in Sony Vegas but sometimes I like to use Power Director as a little alternative so you know to each his own all right, let's move right into the second um, topic that I want to talk about. I want to talk about um, getting onto Machinima Sports. Uh, I, I have a video out on Machinima Sports um, with Midnight Club LA. I basically give everyone a whole rundown of what you need to do to join Machinima Sports. And basically, I'm going I'm to give you guys a quick feed on what you need to do. You need to spam Machinima Sports. <laughs> um, I know I told you guys not to spam, but you have to spam Machinima Sports. If you want to get your name out there on Machinima, you have to spam them. Like seriously, you gotta send them emails every two days. You got, but you gotta still keep coming out with content on your channel. Don't just make one video and pray to God that you get on Machinima with that video. No, you have to keep coming out with content daily. You have to act like meet a quota don't just upload like four videos in one day and say hey i'm gonna do this every day i love it yay no try to meet yourself a quota if you have 10 subs try to get 10 views on your video before you make the next one before you even think about making the next one try to get your views meet your quota and also if you get like a straggler view in a comment guess what you do you go to that person's channel and say hey thanks for watching my vid friend adam right as a friend now with Machinima, you can spam their email, you can spam their inbox. You just have to get your name out there. Like it's so hard to get on Machinima Sports. A lot of people think that you can just send these guys an email and just call it a day. No, you know how many emails these guys get a day. <laughs> so you really like if you want to get noticed, you gotta you gotta go through all the means. You gotta get on Twitter. You gotta talk to people like Optic Diesel, you know, all the dudes in Optic Gaming. You gotta talk to some Machinima Network um, users on YouTube. Like, uh, what's the guy's name? Uh, I can't remember his name. I think it's like C Nanners or something like that. Yeah, I think that's that guy's name. Yeah, you gotta you gotta talk to the right people, man. You gotta have the right connections. Um, you basically have to have some type of how should I say a chip on your shoulder like a lot some people tell me i have a chip on my shoulder but the only reason is because i want to bring what the people want to see i don't want to half half behind i can't curse but you know what i'm trying to say i don't want to half ass like <laughs> i don't want to just do this halfway i want to i want to go full with it i'm determined and i want to do this got all this stuff for you guys seriously now um we're almost at the 10 minute mark of the video so i think do I have anything else to say about how to join Machinima Sports? Okay, I almost forgot. 
go to the machinima sports channel on youtube they have a few things that you need in order to you know upload a video to a dropbox and send a public link to their email including your channel your full name your youtube name like i said it's a lot of things that you need to do so if you want to become a machinima sports director or respawn or realm or you know anything anything that has to do with machinima you have to read their handbooks you have to follow their rules because if you don't you're not going to get anywhere trust me all right that was a total fail look at this replay <laughs> i'm so mad at this he he was about to dunk i messed up his animation and they still made that look like it was a dunk that's stupid but uh <laughs> back to what i was talking about all right um the next thing i want to talk about is youtube partnerships now this is the topic that I am definitely going to take about I would say six seven minutes talking about uh, basically to get a YouTube partnership you have to have revenue sharing you have to have a Google Adsense account and this is all with the regular YouTube partnership now the partnership that I have is through Machinima Sports but it's almost the same difference you know um, when you become a YouTube partner you know you get a lot of a lot of great perks it's like a perk package seriously um the first day i got partnered um i went on to my channel and i seen like this option called branding options and all of this nonsense and i actually went into it and i'm looking at where it's saying oh you can upload image images and banners and side column images and everything i'm like what is all this stuff i'm a noob what is what is this i don't understand this so i talked to um somebody i know on youtube and just they said hey all you got to do is like search for how to make certain things so you know me I, I went into my whole gfx mode on my own because my background person was out of town he, his phone was off so i was i was <laughs> i was pissed so i started making banners and and side column images on my own and just putting a link to the entire banner now you know I, I did pretty good <laughs> but um I actually got some professional work done by um, someone that actually knows how to make backgrounds banners side column images and icons and my channel actually looks pretty good now when you look at it also they have this cool feature oh my god if you go on youtube.com on any mobile device like a cell phone or or you know like a little uh, iPad or iPod touch or something like that the page will come up with a banner like a serious banner with a link that you can click on on a mobile device so so as a YouTube partner you can have a banner on both mobile and computers that is crazy <laughs> now um, I know one thing that everybody already knows about when you become a partner are ads now I know ads are a big hassle but ads are basically for the money makers um if you if you want to make money on youtube as a youtube partner you gotta have your ads um if some some people some partners if they don't have ads basically that's them saying you know what i love the partnership and all but i want my people to just straight up see the video now me personally i have ads on my videos because i want to see what the partnership is all about i want to see how much i can make in a month or something like that because i don't even seriously know i don't know any of the the financial st statistics of having a YouTube partnership yet because I haven't received any type of compensation for it so everybody I am still a noob at this seriously I, I'm still a noob but the one big thing I want to talk about is video uploading when you're a partner this is cool whoa look at that hop step layup sorry I, I was I'm still watching the game <laughs> but uh when you upload videos as a partner you have the option like say say I wanted to upload this Michael Jordan series that I'm talking about right now right I've been uploading it every day right putting out a video every day right but aha but what I have been doing is I uploaded the videos basically all at once uh, so basically since the first day the first video came out that's when I uploaded the videos I uploaded all four of them and what's happening is they're publishing every day at a specific time so if you're looking at this video right now the fourth quarter is already uploaded but it won't be published until tomorrow 
which means I can upload as many videos as I want and have them published at any given time I want. So the So You Think You Can Commentate commentator series that I got going on, it's a video up for that already as well. And that will be coming out right after this. So look out for that in a few hours. And that video is already uploaded to YouTube as well. So being a YouTube partner is very, very... See, see how speechless I was? <laughs> <laughs> like I'm just the smile that I have right now is just big because being a YouTube partner is it, it was a real big achievement like if you guys think about it in the last eight months I would say 2k came out uh, what last October and it's August right now so 10 months then from from last October until now I have achieved getting an HD PVR recording good gameplay bringing you guys good gameplay being becoming a machinima sports director on my own also becoming a youtube partner through machinima sports all on my own like i yo, this is a very big achievement like and i and I'm, I'm very proud of myself and i know you guys are proud of me as well and i just want to thank everybody for you know supporting me because i i didn't think i could do it you know one person told me man you can't whoa my sorry Look at this replay. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. That's that's Mike. <laughs> but um I just you know, a, a lot of people told me that I could do it, you know, to keep my head up and you know you'll get over uh a couple humps in the 2K community, you know that you have to get through to become a better uh commentator and YouTuber alike. So, I just want to thank everybody, man. Seriously, like I want to thank all my subs. I want to thank all my friends. I want to thank all the random people out there in the world that just like watching my videos, don't not having to subscribe and everything like that. You know, I appreciate it. Seriously, um, I'm like, it's, it, I'm one of the few people where my my videos actually match the views of the subs I have, and I and I really want to thank y'all. Seriously, man. But um, the third quarter is coming to the end. Uh, basically, you know, I'm going to continue this conversation in the fourth quarter. And I'm going to see you guys in a sec. Well, actually, tomorrow. <laughs> Peace, man. I'm out.